Did Uncle Fletcher Davis invent the burger? <laughs> That's a big argument. But I'm not going to get into that. All I want to know is, what makes a great burger? If you were going to grind your meat, what meat would you use to make a great burger? Do you use chuck steak, the most commonly used cut? What about sirloin? Lean, but good flavour. What about round? Very lean, cheap. What about brisket? Rich, high in fat, amazing flavour. Do you use boneless short ribs? Great beefy taste, high in fat. Or you might use hanger steak. Bit tough, but great for burgers. And what bun do you use? Plain, potato, sesame seed, English muffin? Maybe. Pretzel? A little hard. Sliced bread? Don't use sliced bread. What about ciabatta bread? Lettuce? Is it a bun though? Kaiser roll or a brioche? Oh, they're good though. And what else makes a good burger? Is it the meat? Is it the thickness of the meat? Is it the condiments? Is it the toppings? Is it the bun? Do you have it toasted? Or you don't have it toasted? Oh, this feels good. There's all these things you've got to think about, or you might not care and just hope for the best. And how do you cook your meat? Is it pan fried? Is it steamed? Is it smashed? Not a fan of that. Is it broiled? Is it grilled? I'm going to show you how I like my burger. For my burger, I always use ground chuck, 80-20, packed full of flavour. It has the most fat and it just makes a great burger. Next, I shape my paddy. I try not to pack it tight, I'll loosely shape it. And then I'll make an indentation with my thumb. This just stops the paddy from turning into a ball. And it works. And then I'll put it in the fridge for a good 30 minutes. Even though I'm making the classic burger, there is a slight twist to my burger. Honey glazed caramelized shallots. So good. These are very easy to make. Grab a baking tray, parchment paper, top and tail your shallots, cut them in half, remove the skin, add some olive oil, add some honey, salt and pepper, give them a good mix, throw them in the oven, 400, 25 minutes, 30 minutes, voila. Delicious. I forgot to mention, I threw some balsamic on there as well. After a good 30 minutes, I'll season the paddy well on both sides. I'll add a drop of veg oil, add the paddy. I do like cooking a burger on the grill, but for me, it has to be cast iron. It just creates a beautiful crust. Then I'll let the skillet do its magic, creating a crust and turning over just once. Then I'll add the cheese. There's only one cheese for my burger, and that's American cheese. It just works. And I do like to cook my burger medium. Next, I'll add my bun to the meat fat until golden brown. It does taste good. Then I'll add the usual toppings, lettuce, tomato, those delicious shallots, mustard and ketchup. You know how it goes. Now that's a great burger. Mm.